Today's world of entertainment for the classic movie fan. See you in June. Hi there, thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight we're bringing you four films starring Anna Stan, an actress more famous for not achieving major Hollywood stardom than for her good, though seldom seen, performances. Sam Goldwyn saw a movie starring the Russian actress in 1932 and was determined to make her into Hollywood's next Greta Garbo. But the producer's overzealous attempts mostly ended in poorly executed films that didn't give Stan what she really needed to show her talent. Up next, we have Goldwyn's second effort in his quest to make Anna Stan a star. From 1934, it's We Live Again. Goldwyn had good reason to think Stan would succeed in We Live Again. The story was based on the well-known novel Resurrection by Anna Stan's Russian countryman, Leo Tolstoy, and had already been made three times as a silent film and once with sound. The movie also starred Frederick March, who was hot off a Best Actor Oscar for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And Goldwyn was sure he couldn't lose by hiring Ruben Mamoulian, a Russian director who had just directed two films starring Marlena Dietrich and Greta Garbo, the very women Goldwyn wanted and expected Sten to emulate. The production did run into trouble on the writing front, though. The story about two young lovers kept apart by their class distinctions went through six screenwriters, including Thornton Wilder and Preston Sturgis. Final credit went to Sturgis, Maxwell Anderson, and Leonard Praskins. Sten, who had trained under the acclaimed acting instructor Stanislavski, was able to stand up to all the talent around her. But despite her superb acting chops, her poor grasp of English made her self-conscious on camera, and sometimes that showed. Still, the movie and Sten's performance received solid reviews. Unfortunately, as Goldwyn told his friend George Cukor, the public stayed away in droves. From 1934, here's Anna Sten in We Live Again. Mm -hmm. 